am wearing my Olaf hat with my Wicked shirt, and I know they don't mesh, but we're just gonna go with it. Hey, what's up you guys? I am back at your faces today with a new video. So I don't know if you realize, but today is a, a pretty important day in the, in, in the, in the nation, in the nation of the Americas. Today is a pretty important day, at least to the theater community. But in case you're not a theater person, I will fill you in because you're probably really confused. Today, October 30th, 2014, is the 11 year anniversary of Wicked! Can, can you see it? It's like right right there. Can you see it? It, it says Wicked and there's... I, ha I have the poster, yeah. It, it says Wicked. It says Wicked, yeah. Yes, if you didn't know, today is the 11 year anniversary of the hit musical Wicked that took off in 2003 starring Adina Menzel and Kirsten Chenoweth. Why do I know all of that? <laughs> Matt, any theater person would know that. You make an excellent point, Matt. Who am I talking to? I don't know. Drop everything! Did someone say Adina Menzel? Yes, Adina Menzel plays Alphaba, or AKA The Wicked Witch of the West, for those of you who haven't seen the show. But, and no spoilers, but it's a really good show, and it was my favorite musical for quite some time. And as many of you know, Adina voices the queen, Elsa, in Frozen. Aw oh, yeah. Hashtag Olaf swag. And that got me thinking. That just made my brain jump to Disney movies and how my childhood wasn't like a lot of your guys' childhoods. When I was little, I would not watch a majority of Disney movies because I was scared of the villain. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Little Mermaid, the list goes on and on. In fact, the only Disney movies I watched were Cinderella, Dumbo for a short period of time, but not as much as the others, uh, Pocahontas 2, and Mulan 2. I watched a lot of sequels, and basically all of the Pixar movies. Actually, the other Disney movie I watched as a kid was Lion King 1 and a half. Do you remember Lion King 1 and a half? I remember Lion King 1 and a half. Honestly, I didn't even watch half of the movies that are on my shelves right now. I didn't watch Beauty and the Beast until I turned 9. I was scared of the beast. I was obviously oblivious to what happened at the end. When I go on Twitter, I always feel really guilty when I see all those pictures. You know the ones, like the stacks of VHSs and the caption, You're never too old for Disney. And I just, I just feel so guilty because I didn't even watch half of those movies when I was a kid. I didn't even know what some of those were when I was little. Oliver and Company, Fox and the Hound, Pinocchio, those, those all just went over my head. Oh, and while we're on the sub subject of VHS tapes, did you guys ever have those weird VHS tapes where it's like the care, like the characters and like the character suits and then a bunch of kids? Because I had like two of those. One of them was like they go to a circus or something, and one of them they go to Hawaii or something or other. In fact, I have them right here. Let's go through them, shall we? So first out of the pile, we have sing along songs. Their necessities. Pretty sure they're all called sing along songs or something. Next up, sing along songs, 12 days of Christmas. I actually don't remember this one. I don't remember the bare necessities one either, but I think we have multiple of this one. Next up, sing along songs, bare necessities. Yep. Sing along songs, let's go to the circus. Yes, let's do, let's go to the, to the circus for Christmas, the world's greatest show on the face of the earth for wherever you go. <laughs> I had to. And next up, is the last one, Beach party at Walt Disney World. Good to know. These were the Disney movies I grew up on. Not your Bambies and your Punk Facts of Notre Dame. Hipsters. And there's still a lot of Disney movies I haven't even seen. I haven't seen Alice in Wonderland, Emperor's New Groove, Tarzan, Goofy Movie. I haven't seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yes, <gasps> let the criticism begin. But the problem is, people, people who claim to be in the Disney fandom only freak out over Frozen and Tangled, which may just be called the Frozen and Tangled fandom. And even though I've only seen most of these movies in recent years, I don't solely freak out over Frozen and Tangled. Like, there's so much more, so many more innovative, better looking, more character art based, and dare I say it, overall better movies than Frozen and Tangled. Yes, there are better movies than Frozen and Tangled out there. Even though Frozen is a great movie, I can still appreciate the other Disney movies out there, like the Renaissance movie, the classic movies, even the forgotten movies. How many of you have watched The Aristocats within the last month? That's what I thought. So if you could relate to anything I said, or if you just simply enjoyed watching me make a fool out of myself, hit that like button and also turn that red button white. Oh, um, oh yeah, um, uh, I better go. I have to go. Uh, I better go. Um, bye.